No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So, Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Okay. I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game planned to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder, in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either, but that's how these things work. 
Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? Oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special I can't be taught, as separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, huh, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. The chaotic road to SummerSlam has all led to one of the most anticipated matches in WWE history. Randy Orton versus his former protege in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. Backbreaker. Orton measuring. Dropping the knee. Answers back on Orton. Oh, the spear. Interceptor, boy. Oh. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Oh, what a slam. Look at this. And that was a precisely measured attack. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. He evades their offense. Oh. Piercing elbow drop. right to the body. Boom! Look at him wear down the opponent. The Viper in bad shape here. Orton needs to return to his instincts. Thunderous powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Orton ducks the strike. And he counters with a headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop toe hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one on one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. RKO on Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Oh, Randy Orton, the apex predator. 
A Viper looking unstoppable. Vintage Orton. Stop it away. One. Now a pin for the championship. He breaks the ref's count after one. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Booty Boom. boot. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Thunderous powerbomb. Look at this. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, what a slam. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Whip back into the ring. Incredible impact. The champ teetering on the edge. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Randy Orton is slipped. Real European uppercut. Can Orton withstand this attack? Looks like Orton's struggling here. gonna take. Oh, is that a spear? Interceptor, Corey! Oh. Booting boot! He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Uh-oh, we know what's next. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Cover! The champ isn't going down easy. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more... They're going to try to desperately break the grip and successfully does so. Ooh. Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. And his core has been taken a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Enable to counter. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Overhand connects. And he gets set back into the ring. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Here we go again. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Man, the title's in jeopardy here. I think the pick. He did it. Not only is he the new WWE champion, but he beat the deadline and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight, it came down to just him and Orton in the ring, one-on-one, -on -one, no one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history at one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. 
myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, strong impact! Zane looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zane looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Huluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Huluva kick. With the roll up. That will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash-in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known he may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do. And I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?